Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create animated props inside Unreal Engine 5. We're going to cover how to create high and low poly, quick UVs, going inside Substance Painter for making the textures, making a quick skeleton and skinning, getting everything inside Unreal, and finally how to create animations for that asset inside Unreal. First we're going to start by making the high poly. I'm doing this inside 3ds Max, but this is something that you can do in Blender or other 3D modeling software. I'm not going for a lot of details for that asset specifically. One of the things I really like when modeling inside 3ds max is that i can keep my stack of modifiers on the side and then when i start doing the low poly especially for uh, such more simple props where i don't need to go and do any sculpting i can just turn off the modifiers and pretty much most of the low poly work is already done from there i'm going to just do quick uvs main thing here for me is to keep most of the planks the same direction i wanted to make one or two that are facing in a different direction this is going to keep all the wood when we do the texturing be rotated on the proper way the other thing that you saw me doing is, is putting different materials on the high poly. This is something that I do so that I can already have IDs inside Substance Painter, which is going to make texturing a lot easier. Inside Substance Painter, I'm going to use some of the default materials that already come with Substance. Again, we're not going to do anything too fancy. I tried a couple of different types of wood, and at the end, I picked this one. Then using the IDs that we baked, I'm going to select the metal parts, the bolt I want to add another metal, and last on top I'm going to add a little bit of dirt. I don't like leaving it just by generators, so I usually create a paint layer and go with a brush just so that I give it a little bit of more personality to the spots that I really want. For this one I'm not going to put any signs or markings or anything like that, but if you are creating a prop which needs to grab a little bit more attention, either a hero prop or something like that, I would recommend putting a little bit more signs or other more personalized markings on your props. Especially if they're man-made, this is usually something that really improves their feeling and makes them feel a lot more from the real life. Now that we have the low poly and also the textures, I'm going to create just two bones. One at the very center and the other one is going to be for the lid. We're going to delete the last one at the end. Then we are going to do a skinning. For the skinning, the base bone is basically controlling the whole bottom. And then the second bone is controlling the lid. Now that we have all the elements needed, I'm importing all the assets inside Unreal. First, we are going to create a quick material. One quick tip, your occlusion, roughness and metallic map, change it from the default compression to be on masked. This will ensure that the values there are going to be correct. Otherwise, your surface is going to look wet. I'm just going to drop the asset into the scene, open sequencer, and then on the bottom where you see our SK create skeleton, we are going to click on the plus sign right next to it, go to control rigs and select FK control rig. By selecting the FK control rig, you are going to expose your bones inside sequencer, which is exactly what we need. And now we can select them and start animating by adding keyframes. I'm going to create just two animations. One is going to be for opening the lid of the crate. And the second animation, I wanted to do it a little bit of a shake if the crate is locked. And that's it. We went through all the stages of creating the prop, getting it inside Unreal, and as well animating it. Subscribe and follow for more game development tutorials. See you next time.